Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is the next in our starter base series. I'm Twix True. And I'm Equal Play. And together we are Curious Gamers. And today we are building a starter base in a jungle biome. Yes, naturally, because that's what everyone does, is go and find the nearest jungle <laughs> and build in it. If you wanted to, this is a cool base to build. It is, so we've, um, instead of taking advantage of the lush green look that you get <laughs> in, in a jungle biome, we've decided to go a completely different direction. We have decimated <laughs> a jungle biome and made the ground muddy. Yes. <laughs> so the narrative behind this one is uh, research tents. So this is a, a research community made up of lots of little tents all doing specific things. Yes. As usual, we have our criteria of what we think a starter base should have. That should be zooming in on your screen right now. But we needed it to be safe. We need... What are all the things, Eep? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let, me just, let me just go look that up. <laughs> so we define a starter base as something that is safe from mobs, has a food source, has storage, a crafting bench, furnace, a bed, and a mine shaft. Yay! I, I did all those things in this build. Excellent. And you've even got a few extras. Oh, this this one even is quite an established starter base. It is. Should we, should we get started and start building it? I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, I guess the first thing to do is probably consider what materials we need and get on those. Yeah, let's do that. So, a uh, jungle, that's an interesting choice. Like, no one builds in the jungle. Why did you pick that one? <laughs> because nobody builds in a jungle. We, we like a challenge. We do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we pick the biome first on this one because... But nobody, as you said, nobody builds in a jungle. And we want it to be a little bit different. We do like being different. <laughs> so we picked the biome and then we started to think about what kind of things you would do in a jungle. And why would there be a base there? Other than you like the biome, obviously. Um, so that's when we came up with the idea of campsites and tents and jungle explorations and that sort of thing. So we decided to build a mini campsite. Yeah, we do really like our narrative-based bases. So we do really like telling a story through our bases. So yeah, when, when we started talking about the jungle biome, I'm, I really liked the idea of, you know, sort of an Indiana Jones-esque. I was really inspired by the jungle monument. Yeah. Is it monument? What no. are they called? Jungle? Temples. Temples, yeah. So I was quite inspired by the jungle temple and then I thought about, you know, Indiana Jones and then campsites and archaeology digs and then our, and that's kind of where we got that idea from wasn't it is this, it was this... we actually started this by i think trying to do a completely different type of build we were gonna do like a, a bigger jungle temple like a mayan type style temple in the jungle but then we realized that everyone does that yeah everyone does a mayan temple <laughs> <laughs> so we went with tents because why not <laughs> which and, and tents are not easy to build because they tend to be triangle shaped and this is a very square game. Yes, it is. Are triangles harder than spheres? Yes, I would say so. <laughs> Especially when you're building on this small scale. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it, it was definitely quite a challenging one. I definitely left you to it. <laughs> yes, you did. Came up with this idea and, and we, we developed this story. Then you went, off you go. <laughs> yeah, I did, yes. <laughs> So we did need to do some materials gathering. I did have to do quite a bit of my mining but we actually didn't need too much stone type blocks in this build at all but what we did need was coal and iron and diamonds and i actually got really lucky on diamonds this time i managed to get a full set of tools oh nice um because of course we do all this in survival we can only use what we find yeah i would presume that from having to clear out quite a large section of jungle you're going to have plenty of wood yeah, do you know what? Wood was not a problem on this build, as you'll see later why. But it was beyond the jungle clearing as well. But this is one of the biggest problems with deciding to build in a jungle, is it's very, very full. There's not much space. So you had to clear out. And one tip I would have for this is build, clear out more than you think you'll need, because you're going to need it. Isn't that just the rule of Minecraft, is do more than you think, collect more than you think you need? It so is. And always, you always underestimate how long things are going to take and things. Yeah, 
So then once I'd cleared out the jungle, I flattened it, ready to get building. So with all was... this jungle yep. wood, did you actually use any jungle wood in the build? I did. Oh, okay. I was I was beginning to wonder if you've got all this, chopped down all these jungle things and then didn't actually use any and you just had all of this wood. <laughs> I know, I used quite a lot of the wood. I still got a lot of wood left. So, you yeah, know, I did use local blocks. But I also definitely... I also definitely needed blocks that weren't local too. So I had so we, to go off on my explorations. Of course. So we, what blocks were those? Um, so from the jungle itself, I, I didn't use a lot other than the jungle wood. I did gather some vines and leaves and melon, but it was mostly the animals I wanted. So I collected some pandas and some birds. Because uh, to add it into this idea of this jungle exploration, uh, if you were a campsite and you came across these exotic animals jungle explorers of old would have collected them so that's what this was we were doing here okay so it's a slightly oldy worldy campsite yeah. and exploration like a, a proper victorian era of oh look that's cool how can i take that home and exploit it <laughs> basically yes yeah, so i'll put a panda in a boat as you do as you do <laughs> that's that's very minecrafty oh look there's a new thing how can i exploit that <laughs> Yeah. I swear we're the bad guys in there. Uh, we are definitely the bad guys in Minecraft. <laughs> That's a whole discussion. <laughs> but I did have to go beyond the jungle. Um, I definitely needed moss blocks and clay and stuff like that. I needed a, a badlands or mesa biome for... And the, the blocks I used this was the, the different coloured clays in order to um, texture the tents. Oh, that's a good idea. So it wasn't wasn't just wool, and you didn't need too many different types of dye then, but no. still had that very naturalistic look of like different different types of tarp at different ages and things. Yeah, I mean, apart from the um, obligatory orange and purple tent that we have. Oh. Yeah, of course, you got to have our tents there. <laughs> but that was a really ingenious use of easy to gather materials and utilizing their colors. Yeah, because um, most or a lot of the colors from the from the mesa biomes are, are, are already there so the only thing i had to do was dye things green okay um all of the other colors were available so of course that meant a trip to find oh, some cactus purple, and purple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was a trip to get some cactus and some um sea pickles oh yeah sea pickles and cactus those are the green dye things yeah so yeah, I had to dye it because wool was a big one I needed. You need quite a lot of wool for this. So I was in between doing all this, I was doing a lot of wool farming as well. So the other thing that I definitely needed to find was a tiger biome because I needed spruce saplings and a little bit of spruce wood. And so did, did you not have enough wood in the jungle? Well, I needed the saplings <laughs> rather than the wood. Oh, what were those for? Because I needed, I didn't have silk touch at the time and I needed to create podsol in the campsite. That's ingenious. So I was growing big trees. You'll see that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing was I need was I needed berry bushes. Oh, just for, for a bit of decoration? Or no, were you just the... running out of food by this time? <laughs> <laughs> These are the things that are going to keep our campsite safe. Ah. Why did you need to go to the nether? So I'm mining obsidian. So I got lucky with diamonds because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do this. And I needed to go to the nether because I needed soul sand. Because campsites are quite muddy places. The places you walk, I wanted them to look like it was well used and well trodden. So I wanted all the different brown and muddy type blocks. Well, it's a good thing you managed to get enough iron for some uh, <laughs> armor for this bit. Yeah, it is. So I went and gathered my soul sand and a few other nether bits, but I wasn't out there too long. And I, I only died that once. Luckily, soul sand's not too difficult to get hold of. So that was the only thing you needed from the nether then, just a quick pop in, grab soul sand, soul soil. Yeah. And then, then off you went. I mean, I forgot to wear a gold helmet the first time around and, and a piglet <laughs> found me, but I rectified that mistake. <laughs> so that's it. I think that's all the materials we need. Excellent. We should probably start thinking about building. So before I could even start building this, I had to prepare the ground. I'd already flattened it. But I, as I said, I wanted pod salt and I didn't have silk touch. So the only way of doing this was to grow it by creating <laughs> all these giant ty giant spruce trees. Well, <laughs> yeah, if, if Minecraft is going to let you, then uh, yeah. yeah, that's a really good way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then I just laid out my central where I knew my central path and campsite wanted to go. And then I just started building my first tent. Oh, that's quite a good idea. And that's kind of how, again, with, with that narrative, you would tend to all arrive somewhere. There'd be a central point where you all dump the stuff and then build the things around it. So yeah, I laid out a, a path just so that I knew where to build things around it. And I started on this first tent and I decided to go with the most one of the most difficult colours, which was green. Of course. And this was going to be one of the larger tents because this was going to be the storage tent. So how did you design these tents? I actually just started by laying out a entranceway. So I actually started by designing the triangle front bit and then I just built the rest up around it. Because building on a small scale like this and adding enough detail to make it look like the thing you're trying to build is actually really quite difficult. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges of like a small starter base is to to get that narrative across while also not being too big because you don't have a lot of materials to start with. Yeah, uh, then I just built that triangle shell, built up around it, added a framework of jungle wood, see, as temp poles just to give it that it's definitely being held up type thing. And then I um, just added texture with different colored Mesa bar blocks and some banners to give it that little dynamic feel like it's moving. Oh, that's really cool. So what tents did you decide to go for? So after that, I decided we needed a variety of tents of varying shapes, different sizes and slightly different entranceways. Um, all in different colors. So I built a purple one for me to sleep in, an orange one for you to sleep in. And then yeah. we needed one that covered our mine. Because that was the idea is that um, these old world things, when they find something, they would build a tent over it to protect it, was the idea. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You don't want your mine shaft getting water in it. Yeah, so I built that around there. I decided we needed like a research tent, which contained our enchanting stuff. Because I did then go and create an enchanting table and that's where I put the portal into the nether too and I created a kitchen type tent. Oh that's really good so again thinking about what they would have needed what they would have wanted. What they would have wanted and needed but also what we needed. Yes. Because this is a survival base you need to be able to survive and make things. Oh yeah and that sort of semi narrative but this this research place that's sort of semi permanent like you, they're going to be here for a good few months so they've really bedded down and had all these different tents here and yeah, yeah. it's starting to get a little bit messy and cluttered as as life goes on. Yeah so that was this is my tents in place. And it's time to start the, the landscaping, which is actually the most important part of this build. Well, yeah, that's sort of the, the main thing, because this isn't one build um, and that's it. This is lots of small builds and that is your base. So, yeah, the, this whole landscaping bit is even more important this time because you're seeing this all as a whole. Yeah, it, it integrates all these small little tents together into something that feels like a base. Yeah. So what did you do with the landscaping to try and bring this all together i first decided where my paths were going to go so i expanded on that um and there's the use of the soul sand and the soul soil that you uh, gathered earlier yeah so i also got a little bit of dripstone as well and added that in some coarse dirt as well do i see oh yes yeah, so coarse dirt i also used a bit of normal dirt and i also in places used brown terracotta as well ah oh, so a really good selection of all those different browns all coming in yeah. So once I'd laid out my main path, I decided I need to get my animals out of the way and sort out where I needed to put farms and things. So I built a little bit in an enclosure to keep my pandas in and my sheep. <laughs> Poor little pandas. <laughs> it, we're explorers, so we don't treat people particularly well. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the definition of being an explorer? It was, was back in the Victorian times. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so we built a little dock because explorers go out and explore. So we needed some place to put the boats and to go fishing on for food and things. <laughs> yeah, very much with the fishing. <laughs> yeah, I really love just all of these different tents and, and how you've been really creative with all the different shapes. And, you know, some of them you enter them on the side, some of them on the end. I think that's really good how just a simple concept can be taken in so many different ways. Yeah. And it is that it's basically the same tent, just varied slightly in size, and I put the entrance in a different place. That is it. Yeah, and colour. But it's, and the colour, yeah. It makes all of them so different, and yet at the same time, the same. So you can see they're all kind of from the same family and sort of the same idea. Yeah, and then it was just a matter of um, 
or I, I started with actually making it safe because that's one of our definitions of a starter base is making it safe. So I built this one block perimeter where I dug down one block all the way around. And this is where I get clever, see? Mm -hmm. And then in there, you put a... Um, this is what I needed all my sweet berries for. You put a sweet berry bush in along the where you've just dug. You cover it with a moss carpet. Ah, oh, that's ingenious. And mobs won't cross it. Ah. Uh, and so as long as you've lit up the area enough. Yeah, and then I made sure everything was lit up just outside of that perimeter and just inside of it. Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. And also, I like your use of the moss blocks actually bringing some of that greenery back into the pod soil. So you started yeah. with this very, very brown, complete covering of base, but actually at the end of it, you got hardly any pod soul left. <laughs> yeah. So then, I, then I, yeah, then I break up the pod soul that I, took me so long to create with um, moss and grass to create the base. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Should we take a closer look, and you can show me the the inside of some of these tents? Yeah, let's do that. Are we ready to go on an adventure? Yay! Let's go on an adventure. Show me all the things that you built. So this, this, this is our little dock. That's so adorable. <laughs> Let's start with the animals and the farming. So along here is where we've got our pandas. We've got Hello, a playful pandas. one. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are adorable. And my sheep. All the sheepsies. Because they were they were the one of the most important things in this build. Well, yeah. And I just put all of our farms out here. That makes sense. And our exploring horses. Hello, horsies. They don't have a home. Come see the mineshaft. Okay, so this is the mineshaft tent. So this is the mineshaft tent. There's not a lot in it, but what I did was I utilised a hole in the ground that already existed. Oh, okay. To add to that story of, like, you know, they found this place and you just climb your ladder down until you get to the, air, the, the level we need. So I almost dug straight into one of these. Oh, wow. Which I then didn't use. <laughs> but that's no, but not the nice point. It's nice to know that you had one. We have one. <laughs> then we can go back up. <laughs> and that's the mineshaft. Oh, that's really cute. So all of the area is lit up. Some of it's hidden lighting under moss carpets. Other it is lampposts. Just like that. <laughs> what was this one? Storage tent. Oh yeah, there's a nice amount of storage in here. It's surprising how much storage you can fit into a tent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not a Harry Potter tent though. It's Big not on bigger inside. on the inside. No. <laughs> you lead the way. You explore. It is just lots of random storage in places. There is, yeah. So this one is your tent. No, your tent. It's orange. Oh yes, this one's my tent. I'm orange. So this oh, is your yeah, tent. And, and, and all the storage. I like storage. And you get a and cat. Books. And I've got a cat and a dog. Yeah. Uh, oh, then we'll we'll go and look at your tent then. Oh, you got a birdie, and I got a birdie in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got more books than you. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got all the birdies in their little cages. <laughs> now, what's this one? This is kitchen. No, so smelting area basically. Okay. And storage. So not actual kitchen. Not really a kitchen as such. I made the in the internals um practical. <laughs> it's not like you. I know. <laughs> I, I went practical. This is our little campfire oh, area. I love these little seats using the campfires. Campfires and signpost chair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're really cute. <laughs> they're a bit more rustic than the stair ones. Yeah. And then enchanting area. 
So research tent, enchanting, this is where our portals are and our potions. So I actually yeah. did go to another fortress as well. I got us some blaze rods. And oh, nether nice. warts and nether wart. So this is actually to find find plenty of books. Yep. Well, I grew loads of sugarcane and killed a lot of cows, yes. <laughs> oh, is the way. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is actually fairly uh, for a smallish base with not too much building. This is actually um quite well established with everything you need in it. Yeah, and there's just so much space and all the things. You got a little well. Yeah. You find, did you see the axolotls? Oh, no, where? Are they in the well? No. Oh, so we've got a little... Little axolotl oh, pen. Oh, yay, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I wanted to bring life to this This um, one, was with, with the animals and the, the different things you would find when exploring. Yeah, and that's that's really nice. I, I want to check out your... um. Oh, here's a really good example. Look, there's a zombie who has gone round. Yes. <laughs> so it's not. So it's... He's, he's not going to walk over your berry bushes. No. So there is a flaw in my plan in that I decided to build next to a lake. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so they can get in from this way, but but they I can't did watch him. I did watch him walk round. Yes. There is a zombie. And. He will, he will not yeah. be able to get to us. I genuinely can't actually cross that threshold. I'm really quite impressed. I know, it's such we a simple can. thing. I mean, that's, we, we can, that's really yeah. not a drama for us to. And the, the same will apply to um, animal mobs and stuff. In the, oh, that, that's a problem. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my tent? <laughs> should, should, we, should we sleep? <laughs> So yeah, it was well, as you were saying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Walking mobs, it keeps out fine. I cannot, I cannot defend the skies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a lot of phantoms. <laughs> it was, but this guy won't come and get us. Well, he, if he works out, he can get round. He will, but that they're not that intelligent, and it's not going to be perfect. Some mobs are going to like glitch over and stuff, but it'll keep the majority of them out. Yeah. So it's it's a safe-ish. Yeah. That's it. So that was our jungle starter base, complete with exploration tents and animals, and even enchanting equipment. It's a it's a really cute little base, something a little bit different. So we really hope that you find this inspirational and, and uh, something something to really get you thinking about different builds that you can build, particularly once you think about the narrative behind it. Yeah. And also, just if you want to build a tent, tents are not easy in Minecraft. I don't think I've done a too bad a job of it. I think they're brilliant. <laughs> Definitely way better than I could have done. <laughs> I seem to remember you said, go, we, we should do tents. Go build me some. <laughs> yes. And look, you've done a fantastic job. <laughs> and then I get to, to turn up, do an intro, outro, and uh, claim credit. It's great. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, let us know in the comments. Um, we would love to hear your opinion or on different ideas that you have surrounding this type of build. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not already. We would very much appreciate your support. Uh, and yeah, until next time, stay curious. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.